many of you have watched the movie Titanic? Okay. What do you guys think when you saw that Jack let himself die in the ice cold water just for a rose? I'm still very upset about that. Okay. Some of you might have thought that it was an act of love or that it was simply a heroic act. However, I, on the other hand, thought it was sheer stupidity. First of all, they've only known each other for about 48 hours and there wasn't any kind of Romeo and Juliet love between them. It was simply infatuation, in my opinion. These are some of my personal thoughts about the movie Titanic. He shows. If I could go anywhere right now, then I would choose Paris. I've always wanted to explore the city of love and explore the culture there. I enjoy traveling to places such as the beach, Florida, Philly, as well as New York. Now, all of you must be thinking, why is she up here and standing and talking about herself? It's because I want to talk to you guys about someone who I've always looked up to. This person has always been my role model. However, before that, I would like to talk about the Boost Conference Program. The Boost Conference Program has not only allowed me to boost my confidence, as the name suggests, but I've also learned many life lessons from it. How many of you here knew that fear stands for fantasized experiences appearing real? Fear, as I learned, actually stems from our imagination. Thanks to this program, whenever I think of something or see something that I have a fear for, I simply think at the back of my head, oh, it's just my imagination. As a result, whenever I face the fear of public speaking, now I have the courage to speak up anything that comes into my mind. And that's why I was able to talk about my thoughts about Jack and Rose. Another life lesson that I learned is that our choices determine who we are. How many of you here knew that 86% of our character come from the choices we make? Not the genes or the environment. It's mostly the choices. That's because for each decision we make, there's an effect and that outcome will have an effect on our character overall. I feel that because of this program, I've become a much more responsible individual overall, and I think my mom also likes this new version of me. That's because I know that each choice has an effect on my character. The person who I look up to every day in my life is no one else but the beautiful Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama, as you all know, is the wife of the 44th President of the United States. She's the first African American First Lady of the United States, and she was born in Chicago, Illinois, on January 17, 1964. She grew up with her elder brother Craig and her parents. Growing up, Michelle was a very talented and gifted, gifted student. She was able to take many accelerated courses, such as French, and biology. She graduated as a class's salutatorian and she pursued her undergraduate studies at Princeton University. There she studied African American studies as well as sociology. And then she went to Harvard Law School. There she got her degree and she started working at a prestigious Chicago law firm. And there is where she met the man who became the love of her life. Barack Obama. They started dating, and after two years, they got married, and now they have two children, Malaya and Sasha. After some time, Michelle started working in a prestigious Chicago law firm, as I already mentioned before. However, she realized that serving the community, helping the people out there, that was her true passion. As a result, she left her job and she moved to the University of Chicago and there she became the Associate Dean of Student Services. She wanted to spread the message across the campus that helping the people out there, that's the best thing you can do. And then at the University of Chicago Medical Center, she became the Vice President of a Community Service Related Club. After some time, Michelle became the first African-American First Lady of the United States. 
She became involved in many issues. However, one of the issues that she really focused on fixing was childhood obesity. She focused on fighting childhood obesity by launching a campaign called Let's Move. She did this by gathering medical professionals, parents, as well as educators, and she traveled across the country to make many speeches and even talk to students at schools about how that's important to exercise regularly and eat healthy. Michelle even wrote a book called The White House, American Kitchen Vegetable Gardens and Growing Gardens Across America. In this book, she talks about her experience with growing gardens across America and how she wants to stress the importance of organic food. Thanks to Michelle, the obesity rate between two to five year olds has decreased since 2003, according to the World Health Organization website. Also, a lot more schools now are offering healthier meals options as well as salad bars. How do you guys think Michelle was treated as the first African American first lady of the United States? She definitely did face many challenges in her life because people didn't treat her well all the time. For example, she had to face a challenge that was involved with dealing with racist comments made by public figures. She was one time called an ape in heels because of her race. However, Michelle being herself did not let this prevent her from becoming one of the most influential women in today's world. She did say in an interview though one time, honestly, if I think about it, I was knocked down a bit. But I realized that if I need to keep my sanity, if I need, if I need to not let others define who I am, then I need to simply believe in myself and believe that God has faith in me and all his plans for me to work out. Another challenge Michelle faced was when she was being attacked about her weight, when she was promoting a fight against childhood obesity. A doctor on Fox News Channel one time said, how do you know she's eating well? She also needs to lose a few. Michelle didn't take any of these to her heart, and she simply continued to promote, deep healthy, and exercise regularly. How do you guys think she was able to face all these challenges? It's because of the qualities she has inside of her. For example, compassion. M Michelle has showcased her compassionate nature numerous times throughout her life. As a lawyer, she fought for justice. And then once she became the first lady, she, was became, she became involved in many issues. For example, she launched a campaign called Let Girls Learn. The purpose of Let Girls Learn was to encourage young women across the globe to study and get a better education after their high school life. I believe that compassion is a quality that we all need inside of ourselves because at the end of the day, it's all about treating others the way you want to be treated. If you want people to give back to you, then you have to give back to them. Another quality that I really admire about Michelle is her self-confidence. Michelle's self-confidence dates back even to her college days. One time, Michelle criticized a professor about his teaching methods. Michelle's parents and her elder brother supported her against this fight, or supported her with this fight against the teacher. Even to this day, Michelle thanks her family for allowing her to find her true inner voice. I believe that self-confidence is a very important quality that everyone should possess because if you want to believe, if you want to accomplish something, accomplish any kind of goal, you need to first believe in yourself. You need to believe that yes, I can do it and that I will work for it and you should commit to your education and all your plans to be successful in life. Another quality about Michelle that I really like is her strong character. 
her strong character is what allowed her to be able to inspire and motivate thousands of people every day with her speeches. It was only because of her strong character that she was able to block out all that hatred that she was receiving about her race. A quote by her that I really believe in, and parents should pay attention to this also. If standardized test scores were to determine where I'd be in the future, then I would not be here where I am today. I can guarantee you that. Michelle's strong character is certainly what allowed her to be successful in life. And I believe that having a strong character, having that great mental strength, is really necessary for one to be successful. Because in today's world, it's so easy to get distracted with things like social media, society pressures. I feel that if you simply focus and work towards a goal and commit to it, then you'll be successful at the end of the day. As you all can see, Michelle Obama is truly an inspiring and incredible role model that everyone should look up to. She deserves everyone's respect and attention because she has done so much for us. What's special about Michelle is that not only is she well known among the adult population, but she's also well known among the teenage as well as the young kids population. I strive to be like Michelle Lebron Robinson Obama someday and make her proud. I would now like to take a, take a moment to thank my parents for supporting me and guiding me throughout this course, as well as the judge for agreeing to judge the event today, as well as the audience for patiently listening to me, as well as Inspire Academy for giving me this opportunity to face and conquer my fear of public speaking. Thank you so much.